Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to another Freestyle Footbag Shoe Review here on Passback. Today we're taking a look at Okay, so today we're not looking at a particular brand of shoes, but rather talking about playing freestyle footbag, barefoot, or in socks. It's a little hard to give a universal review because your mileage will vary depending on your body. However, we will still treat this like a regular starter shoe and analyze how well playing barefoot works for the basics. So the whole point of playing freestyle footbag in shoes is twofold. One, to have added support when you're jumping around, and two, to have normalized flat surfaces. When you're playing barefoot, it's what you see is what you get. You've got no added support and you have to deal with all your weird, natural little curves. The barefoot toe area is probably the closest you'll get to playing in shoes because the natural pocket created by curling your toes up gives a pretty flat surface. The inside, however, is about as far as you can get from a good shoe. Generally, the sweet spot of a shoe's inside surface is somewhere in the instep, maybe a bit closer to the toe. When you're playing barefoot, though, the only flat part is back by your ankle and heel, which is a very small and unforgiving area to hit. What you lose in surface size and flatness, you make up a bit in feel and weight. Playing barefoot is the ultimate in feel because the bag is coming in direct contact with your body, and obviously you've got no added weight to contend with. As for the other parts of a shoe we normally look at, there's no extra sole, so when you're playing barefoot you're either going to be stuck playing inside or on the smoothest of outdoor surfaces. Since there's no mods or wear and tear over time to analyze, we're going to jump right into the review. And right off the bat, I guess I'll say that I don't really like playing barefoot at all. Starting with the very basics, kicking barefoot is a pretty miserable time. Not only is your inside not a flat surface, but you also don't get any of the pop that a shoe would give you, and if the bag hits you in the wrong spot, it can actually be a little painful. When you learn freestyle foot bag without shoes, you can dabble in kicks to try the motions out, but you pretty much have to skip right to stalls. Like I said before, the toe area is similar to that of a shoe, and actually doing toe stalls and toe tricks barefoot is pretty okay. In my case, my left toes don't curl all that flat, so I benefit a lot from a shoe in that regard, but for basics, I can mostly make toe tricks work. On the other hand, I don't have any fun doing inside-related tricks barefoot whatsoever. If I really concentrate, I can get an inside stall, maybe even a clipper stall, but if I'm playing barefoot, I'm sticking to toe tricks. A few players over the years have figured out how to play totally normal while barefoot, but for the most part, people stick to toe tricks while only occasionally throwing a clipper trick in. As for the other aspects, the weight and support are both a bit double-edged. Not having to deal with any added weight will help you learn tricks faster, but will make it harder later if you decide to move on to shoes and do have the extra weight. And while none of the beginner tricks require that much support, I don't personally think playing barefoot feels very good. On the other hand, you're much more light-footed, so you can get away with playing in places like apartments or hotels where playing in shoes wouldn't normally send your angry neighbor up to complain. Even though playing barefoot is far from my preferred way to play freestyle footbag, it is the easiest way to get started because all you need is a bag. You'll only be able to properly learn about half of the basic tricks, but if you have any interest at all in playing, it's hard to not recommend giving it a try. It'll give you the feeling of playing with as little buy-in as possible, and if you end up enjoying the sport, you can obviously get a pair of shoes and go from there. If you end up not enjoying it, which is completely ludicrous, you'll only be out the cost of the bag. Thanks for watching this kind of review of playing freestyle foot bag barefoot, and if you end up wanting to move on to shoes, you can check out the other videos in this series for recommendations. As always, if you have a shoe you want us to review for Freestyle Footback, you can let us know in the comments or on Instagram. Keep up with the rest of our videos by subscribing to Passback, and see you next time.